and 45 minutes. 45 minutes faster than the last launch and we had significantly more inventory. This is the most inventory by far we've ever had and it literally like is selling out faster and faster. I, I We need to expand quickly. Uh, so thank you guys so much for the insane support. This is absolutely mind-blowing uh, how much people love this candy, especially like the new mango flavor which you're gonna have an orgasm Many of you probably your first one, but actually right there is a delivery truck with probably the most exciting package of my entire life. Let's go. Yeah. Fast starter. <laughs> wow, stat. Fast starter. I'm a wildfire. Hit you like a prize fire. Oh, baby, I'm a wildfire. Straight from the block, no, I cannot be stopped. I'm a wild child. Hit you with the so, I know I said I've been waiting a couple months for this package, but in reality, I've been waiting about 10 years because when I was physically smaller uh, as a wee little lad, I used to build these things from the junkyard. These are axles, guys. For those of you who don't know what it is, uh, the easiest way I can describe it is, it's the thing the tires go on. Uh, yeah, they're a necessity, and this is from a company called Dynatrack, and these are literally the best axles that uh, money can buy. This is a XD60 in the front, and then we have an, an, an XD80 in the rear, which could not be more overkill. But we're gonna build it once, guys. Now we have all the suspension components. We have the axles, we have the tires, we have the beadlocks, and then all we gotta do is put it on the Jeep, right? Super simple. January is when we start the build, and I am not, I'm not playing. This is gonna be the sickest Jeep you have ever seen in your entire life. In your entire life. Believe it. Green refresher with Bo I don't think I've ever purchased a boba tea in my entire life, but this one, this one right here is pretty special. Oh my God, it's in. I got the little ball, what are they called? Bo boba balls. Boba? What is that, what does boba mean? I have no idea. Jelly balls? And it's so weird, because like, okay, if you've never had it, it's like little jelly balls, and when you suck this straw, it's gonna, they're gonna, they're, it's gonna, mm. What the fuck? Why, why is that a thing, dude? I don't, what is that? Bath time. Mmm. There's so many of them. Why are there so many? Let's just like shake this up, man. People drink this all the time, it's weird. I'm not used to just like jelly balls sucking up in my mouth from the straw, man. Mm. Alright, so the reason we came out to get these jelly balls squirting up in my mouth hole is because this milk box uh, boba tea place 
is actually in the strip center that I invested in. My real estate investment, I talked about this in one of my older videos, and I showed it to you before. It was, uh, it was in like the final stages of getting finished. But your boy owns a whopping 4% of the land that uh, this is sitting on. So, I mean, I don't know how many square feet this is, but let's just, let's just say this. I, I, probably like one of these squares, no more than that, 4%. I don't know, a couple of squares. But yeah, I call myself a landowner, and um, I know I originally said that we wanted to sell this uh, retail strip uh, by the end of the year to make like a 30% return, but uh, apparently, I'm new to you know commercial real estate investing. Uh, I guess if you have a short-term investment, you pay a lot more in tax when you go to sell and you make your money, you pay a lot more tax on it than if it's longer than a year. I think it's like long-term capital gain. People are probably like, that's not the right term. But basically, we're gonna sit on it for a little bit longer so we don't have to pay as much in taxes when we sell it and we wanna reinvest that. And now we have, like, there's like a Sherwin-Williams down there. There's a Blast Swim Academy. There's Idea Lab. Uh, I'm not really sure, you know, every single place that's in here and there's still a couple empty ones. But uh, this is like another kind of investment that I'm trying to do and put my money in to let my money kind of work uh, while I'm doing a lot of other things. But I, I can't just like dump tons and tons of money into these real estate investments because it's such a long-term return. It takes a long time to get your money back. And with the clothing and the candy, it needs so much capital up front that I can't just uh, tie up all my cash in these things. But it's definitely a cool learning experience and I will keep you guys posted on this. And uh, I'll even tell you on the 100,000 that I invested exactly, I estimated 30%, I'll tell you exactly how much uh, return I made when we do hopefully sell this strip center so max tuning landowner dude haha <laughs> four percent if four hundred thousand four percent you do the math of how much this place cost god damn I had to do a top set of three for an RP9, which means really heavy, really hard. Uh, and I hit 460 pounds. And ideally with lower movements, like the squat, like the deadlift, even at an RP, which is kind of how you feel that day, I tried to go up 10 pounds because uh, my mom, she didn't raise a little bitch, but today she did. And uh, it's feeling a little, a little tougher than I should. So we're just gonna go for a five pound PR. Or th this would be a PR, I've never hit this before. Uh, 465 pounds for two. I failed in a long time. Uh, that really got in my head. I'm going to stop the rest of my workout because a lot of people be like, you know what, dude, you gotta fail, dude, you gotta push, dude, man, you gotta have a good rest of your workout session for me. I'm like, no, 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 no. <laughs> you fail, you lose, you go home. Uh, yeah, I've, I have not failed a squat in forever. So that, I don't know what happened. Uh, shouldn't have gone for that heavy today and also just, at the bottom of that rep I got in my head, I was like, oh, it's a little hard. Should've just stood up, that's all I have to do. But I refuse to end this on a bad note, uh, at least this video. Um, I'm actually gonna take off. I know, I know I said I'm like, I took a little break from YouTube and then I'm like, I'm back. But during Christmas, just because everyone's with their families, 
views are gonna be shit anyway, and I'm gonna be at home and I don't wanna film a bunch. I'm actually gonna take off the week of Christmas and I'll be back right at the new year. So if we're gonna take a week off, I gotta give you something. So we have deadlifts tomorrow, and I gotta do 600 and 10 pounds for two, which is a all-time PR. And you know what? I'm going to rip that shit off of the ground and then put it back down and then do it one more time. See you tomorrow. Gemma is called going against your programming because you want to hit a PR before the end of the new year. So 2020, we can go in saying we hit 650 pounds. I'm so happy. Oh my God. I was like, please do not fail this. Let's go. All right, so I think that's a good way to end out 2019. I hope you guys are excited to uh, stick around and see what we have in store for 2020 because it's gonna be sick so uh, thank you for watching this video thank you for being on my youtube channel and uh, i'll see you next year and i saw uh, one of the top comments i appreciate you it was a girl that said like hey you deserve more subs i'm like that's awesome i clicked on the expand more and it was like i don't even watch max youtube videos anymore dude it's like the same content it's so repetitive max it's almost like you are like a regular person and you do the same thing every single day it's like i know becky that's why I hit a PR for you, you know? 2020. See you then. Bye-bye.